Parakeets are friendly birds that have made great pets for bird lovers all over the world. A parakeet is more than just a pretty thing to look at, though. Bringing a parakeet home means making it part of your family. These social birds will want to play, chew, talk, and be in a home where they can bond with people. They also have regular needs for which you will have to provide. If you are willing to put the time in to socialize and care for one, though a parakeet may be the right pet for you. Before we start, make sure to subscribe. Tap the bell to get notified about all new videos. Decide if you are ready for a 15 to 20 year commitment. You'll need to account for a parakeet's lifespan before deciding to get one. A healthy parakeet can live for 15 to 20 years, which is way more than many cats or dogs and most small mammals, but less than larger birds like parrots. If you plan to travel or make lifestyle changes in the future, a parakeet might not be the best pet for you. Determine if you can handle their personality. While personality varies from bird to bird, most parakeets share two values. They are social and they are stubborn. When a parakeet is let out to play, it will want to socialize directly with you. It will also want to chew and peck around the house and will leave droppings anywhere, including on the furniture and on you. Parakeets are intelligent and can be hand trained. Consider if this is something that appeals to you or not. Consider the noise level. Parakeets don't squawk all the time, but they will make a loud screaming noise at least once a day for several minutes on end up to half an hour. If there is someone in your home who needs lots of sleep like a child or is otherwise sensitive to noise, a parakeet might not be the right pet. Determine how much time you can commit. Parakeets are friendly social birds, meaning that they need daily attention. You need to be able to commit time every day to cleaning your parakeet's cage, changing out food and water bowls, and socializing with it by playing, talking, and hand training. Prepare to have multiple birds. Unless there is someone in the home, in the house to socialize with most of the time, your parakeet will probably want a friend. Think about whether you are ready to keep two birds at one time, which will double the noise, social time and cleanup, but also double the love and affection. Evaluate your household activity. Parakeets are easily stressed and susceptible to hurting themselves or weakened immunity when anxious. If you move frequently or have an active household, such as one with small children, it may be difficult to keep your parakeet healthy. Consider your other pets. Having a cat, dog, snake, or other predatory pet could be a risk for your parakeet. While many homes have multiple types of pets, it requires very careful attention to every interaction. Think about the demeanor of your current pets. Even a well-trained cat or dog who just wants to play could accidentally hurt your parakeet. Measure the space you have to give the bird. While some choose to keep parakeets in small cages, they are typically much happier in larger environments. Make sure you have the room in your home for a cage that is large enough to fit your parakeet, its food, its water dishes, multiple toys, and multiple perches, and still give the bird room to fly. Factor in your time away. Parakeets aren't birds that can be left alone if you travel or are away from home frequently. Think about whether you have someone you trust to come feed and check on the bird. Avoid getting a parakeet if someone in your home has health issues. Consider if you or anyone in the family has a weak immune system. Birds can carry diseases that don't make them sick but can be passed on to people, such as Giardia and Campybacter. If someone in your home has a weak immune system, a pet parakeet may not be appropriate for your circumstances. 
add up regular expenses. On top of initial setup, keeping a parakeet will require you to regularly buy food, chew toys, treats, new bowls, and supplements like mineral blocks. These are not typically high-cost items, but you still need to be prepared to regularly spend money on your bird. On top of that, you may have unexpected vet costs if you notice your parakeet shows symptoms of an illness. Account for increased heating and air conditioning bills. Parakeets tend to prefer a temperature between 65 degrees Fahrenheit and 80 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 18 degrees Celsius and 26.5 degrees Celsius. If you live in an area where it tends to get very cold or very hot, your parakeet may require you to turn up your climate control systems, which could boost your energy and or gas bills. Watch next, why do humans keep pets? Or what is the perfect cage size for two budgies? <laughs>